things. Cause <laughs> this is definitely not what it is. I know for a fact. I know whatever it is you doing is not it. What's up, Cinna Babes, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Sin, and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a story time. Y'all haven't done a story time on my channel in like, I really don't know how long. It's been a minute, like an actual sit down story time. But today, I'm going to be doing a story time. And this is going to be the story time about my worst sneaky link ever. Like, ever, ever in my 22 years of life. This is the worst like I ever had. This idea was given to me by my good sis Kiara. She, um, I had did a question thing on my Instagrams and she commented this idea down. She was actually the only person on my Instagram to comment an idea. I very much appreciate her. She commented this idea to talk about my worst sneaky link. So honestly, a lot of people are not going to know about this, like friends, anybody, they're not going to know about this sneaky link. It's probably like two or three people that I know of that actually know about this sneaky link. It did not last that long. It was very horrible. It was very, very much like, what the world? What am I doing? So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this story time. Let me go ahead and tell you guys. Let me go ahead and run it down for you guys, okay? So timeline, honestly, I really can't pinpoint the timeline of this. I just know that either it was around like either it was graduating high school and it was like that summertime before you go to college and stuff like around that timeline but anyway a little background on like where that came from if you guys do not know oh, okay so who's that background my battery died so background if you guys do not know around my senior year of high school your girl got her part broken <laughs> like one of the worst heartbreaks that I've been through like in my life. That was like my first heartbreak for real, for real. Broke my little heart. Went through so much with this 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 man. <laughs> it was just a whole mess. And you know, I was just like bump me in. Like I don't really care for me. I don't want to talk to me y'all. Like it's all about me. I'm living my best life at this point. And either get with it or don't. You feel me? So I had, okay. So this dude, number one. Also if you do know me background, my background. I like athletes. I had a thing for athletes when I was younger. Like, I always went for athletes. I love athletes. Like, I just, for some reason, I wanted to be an athlete's wife. I was a cheerleader. Like, that just was me. I just want somebody who I'm cheering on. You feel me? I want to be cheering you on from the sideline. So, this athlete, he was from a, like, he wasn't from my area. He's from another area. He DM'd me on some social media. I don't remember which one. And we just started to communicate or whatever. And it was very much like a, you're my type, but you're not my type. But let me just see what's going on going on because you never know that was during a part of my life where I was just like let me try to step out and see you know maybe it's my type because a lot of times athletes have that stigma which all the athletes that I talked to were trash they just have that stigma that they just are no good like that's just them and it's very much true in my opinion you know from my experiences but very much true I was just like let me try something different yes he was still an athlete but he was just a different type of athlete like I can't really explain it without it being known who I'm talking about because I don't too much want it to get out there. But just know he was very different from my norm. Like, very different from my norm if you call that one. Talking to him, very different than we do. I was on, um, you know, communicating. Not, everything was cool. Like, texting and stuff was cool, whatever. So it had done got to the point I found out that, you know, yeah, he was from a different area, but he actually didn't live that far from me. Like, he, he didn't stay that far. So I could actually pull up. So I pull up or whatever. And the first thing that was off for me was I pull up, I, I walk into the house, and the house smells like wet dog. Wet dog. So that was already off for me to begin with because just why? Like, I've never been to somebody's house where it smelled like animal. Like, it smelled like you wash and air dry your dog by the vent. You wash and let your dog air dry on your couches, on your furniture, on your curtains, in your rugs. Like, it just, it. I can't even explain how deep the smell was. Like, it just, it smelled like they breed dogs in their house. Like, I just don't, I, I. I couldn't understand it, but I just was like, you know what? To each his own. Maybe they just love their animals that much that like they just have their house smell like animals. You feel me? So, so I just like, okay, whatever. I walk with him to his room, and number one, I don't the size of people's room. I don't talk about because my room is little. 
my room is little i am 22 and my room my room isn't little i wouldn't say that but this is a big dude like dude was dude was tall so i'm just like okay y'all really don't match what you look like at this point but again you know i wasn't judged i just was looking like i was just taking in um i ain't gonna say i'm very observant but you know stuff that stick out to me i do look and i do analyze it and i do think about it so i was like okay let me just sit down and this is very much a moment of you know how you go to some they have the little memes and they be like well she at your house for the first time you on the edge of the stuff and you just like I'm good, thank you, no, I'm fine here. Look at my hair. And you just like, no, I'm good right here. I'm gonna stay right here. Edge of the bed, I'm fine. So, and we start to talking. Now remind you, I'm not an on the phone type of person. Like I really dislike being on the phone. I don't know what it is about me. I'm just not an on the phone person. I'm a texter. Like I like to text. I text slow, I do. But I like to text. I just don't like to be stuck on the phone. Like if you wanna talk to me, then we just need to be in person because I really hate being on the phone. Unless you're my man, like my boyfriend. Like, if you're my boyfriend, I don't mind it because that's compromise. You feel me? You have to compromise. But anybody else, I really just like being on the phone. Like, I just, it, it shouldn't be a longer than a minute conversation if you're calling me because that means it's an emergency. Don't call me. But anyway, so we never actually, like, got on the phone. So when he started talking, it threw me off. It threw me off. Because when he started talking, he had a very prominent stutter. Like, not a, this is a hard word to say. Not a, I'm talking too fast, so I got a little stutter. Like, it was a, like a every every two words, you, it's hard for you to get it out type of stutter. Which I wasn't prepared for. Like, if I would have known, or if like, it would have been like a, like a just to let you know type of thing. But it just came like, he just started talking, and it was just boom. And so, it kind of like, them back a little bit. I'm just like, whoop. Okay, now that I got it together, you know, just let that let that slide to the side too. Cause again, I'm not I'm not really a judgmental person. It's just that if something is thrown to me by surprise, I kind of have to like get taken, get adjusted, and be like, okay, you know, this is you, this is your life. Live your life the best way you know how. You feel me? So I'm just like, okay, whoa. Next, anyway. So I'm just, you know, all this stuff. I'm just letting it go. Okay, that's whatever. It's fine. So I'm trying to. I don't think the first time I went over there, we actually did the the sneaky link stuff. I believe I went back a second time. So went back a second time. I was a little more comfortable. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a little more adapted to everything that's going on at your house. You know, I, I'm I'm understanding. Okay, I'm letting it kind of go under the rug. So I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. Let me get to know you for you, cause you never know. So, get back over there. So now I'm more comfortable, like in his room. I'm actually laid on his bed. He had my phone, he took a picture of me on his bed. You know, we were just playing around doing little, little kid stuff, just doing stupid stuff. So he ended up laying on the bed with me and stuff like that. And this is where, <laughs> this is where things took a turn for us as sneaky links and also as like, oh, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> so, ooh, Jesus. So if you know me in that way, or like as a friend or anything, when it comes to that type of activity, that sneaky link activity, I am very much a, I like to give, you feel me? I like to give as much as I receive. I'm more of a giver. I'm open to receiving, but I'm more of a giver, if you know what I'm saying. Trying to not be too far out there. So of course, you know, I give a little, you know, I give a little. So as I'm giving, you know, most of the time, I think a, a, the average length of time that this activity should last, minimum, if you're just trying to, you know, do your do, like 15 minutes. Normal time, if you just, you know, you're chilling and you're really trying to get in like 30 minutes. I don't like it too longer than 30 minutes. That's just out the way. But, you know, 15, 30 minutes, average. So I'm just, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm giving, I'm giving. And y'all, I swear, like maybe three minutes, three minutes and he was he was doing it like he literally uh, i'm just like if i knew this we wouldn't have did that i mean i know i'm a you know i'm the goat you feel me like i already know the skills but oh i don't remember it being like this i don't remember that so he like he he just him like uh oh, i don't know what the word like maybe i guess he nervous or something i don't know just he don't know him then he like well let me let me give and i'm just like well okay i mean because i ain't getting nothing i guess you know you can give it a, you can give it a go because honestly me with receiving i've never liked it until recently because it was never really good i've always faked getting like receiving 
itself i ain't gonna store i ain't gonna lie i've had one ex like actual person i dated who showed me that it could be good but like top tier greatness i just like this year learned to like receiving but so so then it was trash okay it was just straight trash so he he down there and he just like like literally i'm like sir what is you doing and you really think you down there doing something like please get off of me please because this is definitely not what it is i know for a fact i know Whatever it is you doing is not it. Like he really had me thinking that, like was that like, are you new to this? Are you new to this? Are you new to this? And also I left out, I left out that this was it. Like not even exaggerating by saying like it was small by using my pinky. Like it literally knew it was like maybe the length of my pinky. It was, that whole experience was sad. Everything about that experience was sad. And the fact that I had to drive there to receive that was sad. It was sad. And I'm just like. Such a waste of gas, a waste of time. I could have been doing anything other than this. Besides getting my time wasted. But no, I'm back here getting my time wasted. For nothing, for nothing. So overall, what that experience taught me was stay. <laughs> I stayed in my lane of my type after that. Cause that was a huge disappointment. I stayed in my lane. When I first get them, them few little flags that I'm thinking, okay, I just need to adjust to whatever it is that they got going on. No, those are flags, baby. It's not meant for you. Go home. Those are flags. Go home. It's not meant for you, okay? And then also, if they, if you, <laughs> If you on the first time you figure out that's not meant to be, don't go back for a second. Don't give the benefit of the doubt. Giving the benefit of the doubt will mess you up. So really, I'm, after that, that was it. I kind of ghosted him. I mean, every once in a while we would talk on social media, but definitely not about that. Definitely not about trying it again. Definitely not about nothing. Like it was simple stuff. But other than that, I'm good. I'm good. Cause I could have doubled back to the nigga that broke my heart and just went and got a little something, something for him for that. I would have rather double back to that to that man than that. But you live, you learn. Did not, I still didn't double back to that man. I don't think I did. I might just see he had a hold on me. But, ooh, Jesus, y'all. Stepping out from to, no. Definitely wasn't a thing to do. Definitely was a hurtful situation. That was literally the worst. I, I don't think I've ever had anything worse than that, honestly. Yeah, nothing worse. That was the worst experience I've ever experienced in my life. So that's my story time on the worst sneaky link I've ever encountered. Worst sneaky link ever. So if you guys enjoyed this story time and would like for me to do more, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below some topics that you would like me to do story times on or topics that, you know, you would like for me to talk about. Whatever, whatever. Just comment down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. This is Sin signing off. Peace.